Hey there! Today I'm going to take you through how I made this. Uh, actually not this, this. And if you honestly want one of these, you have no excuse not to actually follow this video and make one. Seriously, it was super easy and took me almost no time to do. Anyways, let's get into what you'll need to buy to make this project. You'll need a 12 inch by 1 inch by 4 foot wooden board. You'll also need a 1 inch by 3 foot square wooden dowel. You'll need some wood screws. I use the Schedule 12 1 inch long screws. This one's optional, but all these metal pipes and fittings. You'll also need a pillow or something comfortable for your knees or your back to sit on. I bought this gardening knee pad from Amazon for $12 and the link's in the description. You'll also need a pool noodle. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is cut our square dowel to match the width of the wooden board. Now mark out where the dowels are going. I put mine about six inches away from either end and one centered. Since this is the bottom of the board, we'll need to countersink the screws so they're not sticking out. You really should use a countersink bit for this, but I ended up just using a bigger drill bit and only drilling a very shallow hole. So if you're lazy, you can actually be finished at this point. This is actually usable, especially if you have something like a ring strap or a yoga mat or just even a pillow, you can use that as a cushion. Um, but that's not how we do it here. I need to make that good YouTube content, which only means going way above and beyond what anyone would really need to do. So let's get into it. Actually, that was actually kind of annoying, but it wasn't too bad. I'm sure someone with a little bit more craftsmanship can do this a lot easier than I can. But it looks like we're all done with this part. Works good. So I just wanted to jump in really quick. I've been using this board for a few days and I realized that that center leg that we put in was acting a lot more like a pivot point and it was lifting the back end of the board up. So if you're making this for yourself, I definitely suggest just leaving out that center leg. So I'm super psyched to have this because I've been having a hard time finding motivation for my leg days being stuck at home and glute ham raises, Nordic curls, whatever you call them, are by far my favorite leg exercise. So this board's gonna get a lot of use. I'm also thinking I might be able to use this for some unilateral handstand training. And I think I might be able to modify this into like a handstand cane board in the future. So definitely let me know if you made this for yourself. 
I'm really interested to see if anyone does this because it's seriously super easy to do. Like seriously, no excuse not to do this. I think it only took me an hour or two and I went back to Lowe's to get that replacement fitting. So good luck in your training and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.